Today I am going to take two refrigerated cans of original cinnamon rolls. I'm going to turn those into lip smacking, delicious sticky buns ready for fall. We're going to do this with five ingredients and I'm going to show you how simple these are to make. The first thing we're going to do is make that delicious sticky sauce. I'm going to turn on my burner to a medium heat. Now, you just want a small or a medium sized saucepan. I'm going to add one stick or half a cup of butter. We're going to stir this until the butter is all melted. You're going to wow anybody around the holidays when you show up with these. They're going to think you've been in the kitchen all day putting these together. We're going to add one cup of brown sugar. I've got half a cup here. You want to go into the brown sugar, overload it, and then you want to pack it into your measuring cup. Then I'm going to add this to my melted butter. We're going to stir this together. I'm just using a spatula. We want that sugar to melt into the butter. We're going to add a quarter cup of light corn syrup. Now if you don't have corn syrup, you can use honey as well. I'm just going to bring a whisk over. We're going to mix this together. Let it simmer for one minute. And you want to continually stir it. Looks really good in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> See how thick it's getting? That's what we're looking for. What we're going to do now is turn off the heat. We're going to let this sit here while we prepare our baking dish. I have a 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm taking some non-stick cooking spray. I'm just going to spray the bottom, the top, and the corners. Then we're going to take our mixture that we made here, that nice sticky brown sugar butter corn syrup mixture and pour it all onto the bottom of our baking dish. Take my spatula and just kind of evenly spread it out until it's evenly covering the bottom. This will start getting really thick so be, be fast with it. I have some crushed pecans that I'm going to sprinkle all over the mixture. Our fifth ingredient. We're going to take the cinnamon rolls out of the package. This is an eight count original size or you can take the five count which are the larger size and do that. We're just going to take the rolls out of the package here. And then what we're going to do is lay these all across here, squish them in really good. It takes about 30 minutes 
and only five ingredients. Boy, brunch for the holidays, a fall ready recipe. Mmm, these are going to be delicious. My husband loves sticky buns, so we're going to see if these measure up to the ones that he would get at a bakery. Ooh, doesn't that look good? We're ready to place these in our oven that's been preheating at 375 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. It all depends on how your oven runs. You want to make sure that these are golden brown and then take a toothpick and just stick it through the cinnamon roll and make sure that they're cooked through and you're not pulling out any dough. If you still have dough that you're pulling out, you can put these back in the oven. If they're getting too brown, you can just place a sheet of foil over it lightly and then finish cooking them. I'll be back. I'm going to show you how we're going to get that distinct look of a sticky bun. Good to go. We're going to pull these out. We're going to let these rest in the baking dish for three minutes. Don't go any more than that because you don't want that sauce on the bottom to really get thick and the sticky okay we want them to come out with the biscuits so in three minutes what we're going to do is put a serving platter upside down on here and we're going to invert it over so that they're all upside down got my serving platter i'm going to flip it over i'm just going to lay it on top of the rolls very carefully because the dish is still hot i'm just going to slide it over to the end here make sure you have two towels readily available And you need to be fast. So I'm going to grab it like that and we're going to flip. There we go. Oh yeah. Now if you want to add more sugar to this, those two little cups of icing that come with the cinnamon rolls, you can certainly take that heated up just a little bit, swirl that all over your pecan sticky buns. We're not doing that. <laughs> but I've got somebody here who's going to put this to the test. Who's running out to the store right now to get you some cinnamon rolls? Why do I always get the biggest plate? Why can't I have that one? <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead. All right, let us know. I told y'all I had a special person here. Holy crap, these are good. Oh my God. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Oh man. How about that topping? I love it. Did it just take it over the top mm -hmm. for you? Mm -hmm. Five ingredient sticky buns. Mm-hmm. You know mm -hmm. people are going to think you were in the kitchen all day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're running to the store to get you some cinnamon rolls, give me another thumbs up. <laughs> Comment down below what you think. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification that we'll always know when shows are posted. Mm -hmm. Does it need a drizzle of that glaze? Mm -hmm. No. There's plenty of sugar on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cup of coffee would be good. Ah, yep. Okay, we're going to go make coffee. We will see you on my next episode. Bye.